cannot give you back your homes or restore your dead to life, but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Today we are going to talk about Dragonstone. Dragonstone is an island off the coast of Westeros in the Crownlands. It is also the name of the fortress on the island which was the original seat for House Targaryen of Westeros. Back before the Doom of Valyria, a huge volcanic eruption that destroyed the majority of the Valyrian Peninsula, a Targaryen daughter had dreams of the destruction that would ensue in the near future. Her family took her advice and relocated to an island very far away from Valyria itself, thus creating the fortress Dragonstone. The Targaryen family took five dragons with them which would prolong the life of the species, since they were the only dragons to survive the doom. Dragonstone is located on the face of an active volcano named Dragonmont. Aegon the Conqueror planned his invasion of Westeros while residing in the Dragonstone fortress. The castle itself looks unlike any place in the rest of the world because it was made using Valyrian magic and special techniques that was lost in the Doom. Basically, Dragonstone is like a really super advanced place even for current day Westeros and Essos. Actually, Valyria was overall a superb work of architecture, and Valyrians apparently had quite a few secrets when it came to building things, magic, and of course Valyrian steel, the secrets to which were all lost due to the destruction from the Doom. One really interesting thing about Dragonstone is that it is said that there are rich deposits of dragonglass beneath the volcano. This could be very beneficial for the wars to come. Also, one more thing about the volcano is about a handful of wild dragons built lairs in empty caverns in the volcano, and my wishful thinking is that since in the world of ice and fire there is missing dragon eggs and the potential for more eggs to be uncovered, there is possibly an egg or two in those lairs. Not that I believe we will learn anything more about it in the books or in the show, I just think it's an interesting add-on to the lore. A little bit more on the history of Dragonstone is that after Robert's rebellion, King Robert ordered his brother Stannis to take the island, which Stannis did end up doing, leading to Robert awarding Stannis with the lordship over the old Targaryen fortress. Stannis did not want Dragonstone, however, because he did not favor it over being the Lord of Storm's End, which is the seat of House Baratheon for over 300 years. Instead, Robert Baratheon gave his youngest brother Renly the lordship over that. The Mad King Aerys Targaryen II sent his pregnant wife Rhaella and his only living son Viserys to take refuge at Dragonstone during Robert's rebellion. Rhaella gave birth to Daenerys there and also died while giving birth. While we have already seen Dragonstone in the show and with being ahead of the books now, it's hard to tell if we will see the unique Targaryen castle again. The dragonglass deposit seems to be of importance, at least for Sam, once he starts going through the history books at the Citadel. Also, it seems both Winterfell and Dragonstone have one similarity that no place else in the world share. They both have gargoyles. Gargoyles at Winterfell located at the First Keep and gargoyles all over the castle of Dragonstone. The Valyrian Freehold apparently had gargoyles scattered around too, yet I'm not sure if any are still around. Anyway, people have theories about the connection to gargoyles in Winterfell and Dragonstone, and some say it's part of the magic that protects these castles, oh and also dragons. There's always theories about dragons. Well, that's going to do it for this short video. I wanted to explain a bit of the history and the features of the old Targaryen castle so we can have a better understanding to its purpose in the story. So if you enjoyed anything you watch, please leave a like on the video. It really helps. As always, have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.